So who else remembers the good old days where there was no Xbox Live or online multiplayer, and the only people you had to play with were the people actually inside your house? Well, not every game nowadays needs to be played online with random people. I'm Sergeant McFly, reporting for duty, and I'm going to be your tour guide as we cover 10 of the best couch co-op games for Xbox One. Before we jump into the list, just a quick PSA about my 500 subscriber giveaway. If you like the chance to win, all you need to do is subscribe and hit that bell. Now currently, the prize is 3 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, but based on the amazing growth I've seen on the channel so far, I'm going to be adding to the prize pool. Thank you all who have subscribed so far and more details to come on that in a future video. Couch co-op seem to love the chaotic aspect that comes with the genre and loves to see the people playing them yell and point fingers at one another. Well that's exactly what will happen with Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. With up to 4 players getting in on the action, each player has to move from station to station on the ship to man the weapons, the engine, shield, cannons, and the map. Quick thinking and fast shooting can prevent the ship from spiraling out of control and crashing into a planet or a meteor. You never know what the game will throw your way, so be ready to switch positions at a moment's notice. Do you ever watch cooking shows like Hell's Kitchen or MasterChef and wish you were also getting yelled at as part of a super crazy chaotic cooking experience? Smell that That is rancid. The most disgusting kitchen ever. Well, perfect, because now you can with Overcooked 2. You and up to three other friends can team up in the kitchen to prepare and cook a variety of different food orders in wacky interactive restaurant settings. Watch out for the moving floors, the portals, and the impassable fires, all while trying to stay in your lane without bumping into your kitchen mates. You can hail Mary ingredients to other people across the kitchen, which can either speed up the cooking process or it can tremendously sabotage it. Either way, you'll be living out your cooking show dream. Meet Bob. Bob has no abilities. Bob can grab things with his hands. Bob is also in an open-ended dreamscape where he must figure out how to reach the exit of each dream level. This is where you and another friend come in. Human Fall Flat is a ragdoll physics-based game where you must use nothing but your own wits to solve each puzzle and section laid before you. There are multiple different ways each level can be completed. It all depends on what you and your partner rack your brains to come up with. Get ready for endless fun and an unhealthy amount of laughter as you take old Bob through his wildest dreams. I couldn't make a list of great couch co-op games and leave off one of the best Xbox franchises of all time. The Halo Master Chief Collection contains the remastered versions of Halo, Halo 2, 3 and 4, and even Halo Reach and ODST. However, those last two are only purchasable by DLC. Halo and Halo 2 only allow two-player action, but Halo 3 and 4 allow up to four-player local split-screen. Choose to fight alongside one another in the campaigns, or brave the screen peeking, brother blaming, finger pointing action of local and online multiplayer. Choose wisely. Now, if you have ever moved before, like say to a new house or even across states, you know how stressful that can be. Well now you and three other friends can all be stressed out together while playing the hilariously wacky furniture packing game called Moving Out. From the same developers behind Overcooked 2, start your new careers as Furniture Arrangement Relocation Technicians, or FART for short, and help the citizens of Packmore move their belongings while also trying not to break anything. Your new career will test your skills in the suburbs, factories, on the wings of a moving airplane, and even in space. But aliens gotta move too. One of the more interesting but absolutely gorgeous looking games on the list is Unravel 2. The second installment of the Unravel series sees you and a friend play as Yarnies, which are these small little beings made of yarn that are connected by a single thread. Creepy! Anywho, this game can be played in a single player, but where's the fun of that? Grab a friend, choose the Blood or the Crypt Yarny, and begin your adventure solving puzzles and manipulating the world. Even the game's creative director said that Unravel 2 is all about friendship. Aw, no gang turf wars here. I couldn't leave off another one of Xbox's longest running franchises of all time from this list and not include a Gears of War title. Gears 5 allows for up to 3 people to shoot and chainsaw their way through the campaign, however it is the campaign only. 
no couch co-op for multiplayer. Instead of the more traditional co-op experience where both players play in the same perspective, Gears 5 lets one player choose to use a flying robot drone to assist in killing and hacking the swarm. There are ranges of difficulty to choose from whether you are a seasoned Gears of War veteran or just taking your mom through for a very first Gears campaign. Oh my God, mom. All in all, Gears 5 will give you hours of shoot 'em up fun. Speaking of shooting and also looting, Borderlands 3 is another great couch co-op shooter that can be enjoyed with a friend in split screen. Having only just released last year in 2019, Borderlands 3 is the latest installment in the classic Borderlands series. You and a homie can shoot and loot all over Pandora, collecting new and better gear while also upgrading your abilities at the same time. Choose one of the four classes available to begin your 35 hour main quest line, along with some side missions sprinkled in. I'm taking bets right now as to who will know you more, your couch co-op partner or Claptrap. Buddy, what the hell are you do, 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 do? You shall not pass! Damn it! Have you ever been to prison? The else who has been to prison who can tell you what it is really like. I'm Prison Mike! Better yet, have you ever wanted to break out of prison with your best friend? Well, now you can in the Hazelight Studios developed game, A Way Out. This game might seem familiar if you've ever played Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, which I covered in my April achievement video, link in the description below. And that is because it was made by the same game director. This game doesn't even offer a single player option, but is made to be played by two people and better yet, each person can see what the other is doing at all times. The entire game is in split screen. Use that feature to enjoy the amazing story where tough decisions will need to be made between you and your partner, complete puzzles to escape, and challenge each other in nine fun little mini games to include basketball, darts, horseshoes, and even connect four. Last but certainly not least, one of my personal favorites, Cuphead. Studio MDHR hit it out of the park with this 1930s cartoon inspired shooter. You and your couch partner can choose between either Cuphead or his trusty sidekick Mugman to defeat and collect soul contracts in order to repay your debt to the devil himself. Now I must warn you, this game is extremely fun, but also extremely rage inducing. You will die a lot. Your partner will die a lot. Like a lot a lot. But Take each death as a learning experience and come back smarter and stronger and you'll be knocking out the devil in no time. Once you and your player 2 defeat the game, I recommend doing it again on expert mode just to see really how high your blood pressure can get. And there you have it, 10 amazing games you could have a blast with either a spouse, best friend, your pet, or a group of close friends all while sitting on the couch. These games go to show that you don't need to play with random strangers online. But this way, when you get mad at your playing partner, you could actually hit them in real life to show them how much they suck and they need to stop dying so much. Uh, at least that's what I do anyway. If you enjoyed the list, please drop a like on the video. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and game on.